John here, guys, and today we're talking about the Hota D6 Pro Charger, uh, which is also the same thing as the Hobbymate D6 Pro Duo Charger. These are the same thing. You might have seen them, they look very similar, and you're wondering, is it? It's the same shit, okay? It's the same shit. <laughs> the same shit. This is the charger I've actually been using for over a year and a half. Now, I've been meaning to, through most of that time, make a review video on this, and I just never got around to it. They kept sending me more chargers to review, more chargers to review, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna make this one last because it is the best, and look, I'm just done. I don't really wanna review any other chargers for the foreseeable future um, because there's no point in getting any other charger on the market, in my opinion than one of these right there now you might be thinking oh but i want to do parallel charging and charge like 500 amps at a time no 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 now some people do safely parallel charge their packs they might want to charge 10 packs at a time that's not me i do keep my charging um close i do it in the garage in a metal toolbox in case anything should go wrong but i don't sit there and stare at it the whole time so i want to be able to have something that has the maximum amount of safety and that's gonna be the best for my batteries. And that's the reason why this is the best all around charger on the market, because it has two totally separate independent charging lanes. So you can charge two batteries at once. It is not parallel charging. So you could actually charge a 4S on one side and a 6S on the other side. Totally convenient. The other really cool thing about this thing is um, it has an internal power supply built in. So a lot of other small charges like the ISDT Q6s and whatnot, um, those are super portable, super small, but if you actually want to use them, you need a giant power supply to go with it. They cost extra. So you might be thinking you're getting a good deal by spending 50 or 60 bucks on an ISDT Q6, but you got to add a power supply that might cost you another 20, 40, 50 bucks. This has everything included. You can charge two at once. So it has that built-in power supply. It also has uh, XT60 input so that you can charge from uh, external voltage supply like a large power battery, or you could use something like this to charge up whoops. Another nice thing that it has is, see that on the top? This is an inductive charging circuit. So you can do something like put your iPhone on top when you're in the field, and it will not only charge your light post, but also charge your phone at the same time, just like this. I've seen people doing that. It's a really nice feature, especially if you're out on the field all day at a race or a fun fly. Um, you might be using your phone for recording some stuff and the battery just goes dead. You might be using it to play some videos or, or listen to some music. And it's really nice to be able to charge this in the field without having to go to your car. It has a USB output power here. And so you can also charge like your AirPods or any of the USB powered accessories. I mean, this thing is just amazing. The um, navigation and functionality are on this little scroll wheel that has an input to push in and this channel selector that lets you choose between the two channels. It has internal resistance monitoring to keep your lipos exceptionally safe. And this is one of the best balancing chargers on the market, in my opinion. Now, as far as internal resistance monitoring and balancing, I would put the ISDTs and this on the same footing. They're equal. Um, the price for this is about 110, 120 bucks. If you have dual HOTAS, you're basically like FPV God mode. You can charge four batteries at a time. That's what I always do. These are so small, they fit in my pack to take to the field. So when I'm going for a race day, I have one of these. That's why I have the sticker on the side because this charger became so popular that we would just have like eight or 10 of these like laying everywhere uh, on a race day. So just, I put this on there so I could tell which one is mine. Yes, I've had almost every charger on the market. A lot of people start with this cheap thing right here. This does not have very good balancing. A lot of people go with the big, uh, what's that big tower looking thing called? The Venom, a lot of people go with the Venom. The Venom is basically just like multiple of this in one box. It doesn't have the new advanced features. It's, it functions just like one of these four button chargers. So the balancing is not that great. I could never have my Venom chargers balance very good. Um, and so if you want your batteries to last the longest time and you want them to perform the best, you want that really good balancing on there. And this balances the cells perfectly, uh, much better than something like this or the Venom, in my opinion. Like I said, if you already have an ICT, 
I feel like that feature performs the same on both of these, but I do like how small the footprint is and then you have two charge lanes. I really did not listen when I got into the hobby um, what, when people suggested to buy a quality charger. I wanted the cheapest charger possible. I didn't care about charging one at a time. I just wanted to spend the least and they would break and I'll get another one and it would break and I'll get another one and it was just junk. And luckily none of those like cheap ones caught, you know, anything on fire, you know, and then finally I invested in a good charger and it has lasted me, like I said, almost two years now. So it's a worthwhile investment. I can charge so much faster with this thing than on something that doesn't balance properly. Um, you'll notice that you really can take advantage. I usually charge my batteries at 2C or 1C. This also has a really good feature for discharging your batteries down to storage voltage. So if I go out to a fly day and there's a, a bunch of batteries I didn't get a chance to fly, it can discharge two at a time. Now it does that much more slowly, um, of course, but it is nice that you can kind of put it on there. Always remember to charge, discharge, store, charge all your batteries in either a light fire safe bag or a metal toolbox of some sort like I do. Uh, just in case, this thing was so good that I bought myself another one. So when my money's on the line, this is what I'm buying. It is the best. I don't often say anything is the best you know i'm not like some of those other um reviewers where i'm like oh this is the best thing ever i know the thing that i reviewed two days ago was the best but that ain't nothing this shit right here this shit right here this is really the best no i don't do that there's gonna be somebody in the comments that says like uh but i want to be able to charge my batteries at 30 amps so i can charge a 6s pack in like 30 seconds yeah I don't feel safe or comfortable doing that. I charge 2C, that's it. You know, I think that there is oftentimes a right product for a right customer, but this is one of the few times when I could say pretty much across the board, this is the best option for probably 80% of us. Thanks guys.